Today's webinar is uh, dealing with Capture the Transportation Industry by Sound. Now, when we say transportation industry, it might mean a lot of things to a lot of people, but primarily what we're concerned with is transportation as it relates to people. So rule out trucking, rule out other forms of transportation. What we're dealing with is uh, airports, rapid transit, rail lines, ferry boats, things like this. We're going to look at the various opportunities in the transportation industry. So transportation, and what we want to deal with is movement of people, and we'll look at the various areas such as uh, rail transportation and what it means to the convenience of the passengers. We'll look at uh, air transportation and how convenience of passengers is brought into the picture as well. And we'll look at safety for passengers. We'll look at the direction and efforts uh, in an event to really affect safety. And uh, especially is this the case when we think about duress situations in isolated areas, in an uh, air terminal, it's not hard to find someone who, who can give us direction and help us in, in a situation. But on a rail platform, at a ferry boat terminal, in other areas, it might be a little challenging. We'll also look at information to passengers, provide awareness, things like scheduling, things about schedule changes, a direction that uh, needs to be followed in order to preserve safety. We'll also look at uh, security, and that's really uh, central to the access to sensitive areas and be able to provide information and uh, opportunities for people to feel secure. At the end of the day, when we're dealing with people, it's all about life safety. And we want to keep that in mind, so this is an opportunity for us to look at things like this. The experience TOA brings to the table is in our Canadian transportation installations. So we have a number, this is just a partial list, and anywhere from uh, the BC Ferry Services in British Columbia to the Greater Fredericton Airport and Fredericton, New Brunswick, Moncton Airport, uh, Hamilton Port Authority. Uh, we have rail link uh, platforms in various areas. And now we want to look at the opportunities for rail projects. Canadian cities are in the process of implementing light rail projects in all the various shapes and sizes. And we know there's a lot of controversy in, in some of these over whether it be uh, light rail or subway, but we're not gonna deal with that because from our point of view, the challenges and the opportunities are equal. We're gonna look at the projects uh, that are under development. And there's quite a few, there's at least a dozen that are either in the stage of development or in the planning stage anywhere from Victoria, the Vancouver Fraser Valley project, right down to the Ottawa project, uh, Quebec City, Kitchener, Waterloo, Hamilton, a number in, in the GTA in Toronto, as well as expansion of other projects in Edmonton and the opportunities to be able to look at those as things move forward. So all of them have some unique characteristics, but basically in dealing with some of the engineers who are working on and have worked on some of the proposals for these projects, they have some similarities. All of them will be connected to the individual platforms by one way or another, usually by fiber optics, and they want to present communication in both the spoken and in visual way so that people are always up to date and what's going on with the service. Now this, of course, will involve some additional infrastructure for those projects, and that is being put in place by the 3P, uh, 3P partners, the public-private partnerships that are being put together to build and run these projects. And so the opportunities are there for us to become involved, to see that uh, there is an opportunity for communication. And so when we look at transportation communication, how do we do this? Well, if we uh, consider the IP intercom system, it's very versatile, able to reach over 2,000 stations, and 
that could be platforms or even bus transit shelters. And this is able to be done using IP intercom and TOA is one of the leaders in this uh, process to be able to provide communication, direct communication between door stations or wall stations and master stations in security areas. We can uh, present two-way communication over the handset and over the IP intercom, but we can also present one-way communication as well through overhead speakers using this system. One of the challenges that's going to be faced is how do you keep people secure and give them a level of confidence when they're waiting for the rail transit or even a bus in a bus shelter? How do we make sure that if there is a duress situation, they're able to summon the right people at the right time? Well, the N8000 IP-based intercom system, as we mentioned, can be placed on a bollard in the shelter or in, on the station platform so that if there is a duress situation, they can call for security. Uh, that N8000 IP-based intercom system also is able to interface with the security and with the CCTV controls so that a camera can be swung around to have a visual of the situation and see the outlying areas as well. Uh, wide area network, uh, hardware packet audio can also be sent to give a, an assurance. And this can be expanded over many stations so that there is that secure network. It can all be wired back to a security office and a responder so that they can respond to a duress situation. Now, platform speakers is another challenge because mass transit often operates in residential areas. There's always a need to control the sound and the sound levels because you must get the sound loud enough so it's heard when there's approaching transit vehicles, but it must not be too loud to infringe on the surrounding environment. Many vocal announcements need to give direction for bus times, for arriving and departing uh, rail cars. And so that sound is meant to be heard at that particular platform. There might be another platform across the street, there might be another one on the other side of the rail, and that announcement, that direction is specifically for that platform. There's a need to keep it confined to that platform so that others don't get some level of confusion. And so TOA has what we call our panel wave or our plane wave speaker, and it's designed to emit sound in a narrow beam. And this narrow beam is both horizontally and vertically directed. So it keeps the sound on the platform, not going across the other platform, keeps it off the ceiling, off the floor. In fact, the, the beam is directed down five degrees so that even though this is mounted in the ceiling of the platform, it can direct the sound down to the platform. And so there is a variety of these that we have designed. We have double-sided and single-sided radiation, so the sound can come out in just one direction, or it can come out both front and back. So you put one in the middle of the platform and aim the beams down five degrees and cover the whole platform. They're available in both black and white to fit the decor of whatever the selection is that they want to do the, the platform. As well, there's single elements and double elements for greater coverage and higher dispersion levels. They're weatherized and they're designed for rail or subway application. Could be used in other applications as well, but primarily it's designed to confine sound to a given area to make sure that everything is concise and there's no misunderstanding. So what we deal with is uh, speech. The human spoken word is one that must be understood the articulation must be accurate, but the reproduction must be accurate too. And so these speakers are designed with a high degree to reproduce the sound as it is spoken. TOA also has other speakers which are suitable for such applications where there's not that high degree of control that's needed. We have our CS64U, the CS154, 
and the CS304. The U refers to the UL listings for fire protection that these have, and they're designed for general purpose uh, signaling. The different sizes uh, appropriate for the different tap settings for a particular application, and these horns are ideal for voice, but interesting thing, they also are excellent for background music in this type of environment. So quite acceptable to use them for music situations and then uh, override that with the spoken word. In addition to the speakers, we also have equipment for the head end, which can be triggered to deliver the appropriate message on command, and this is our digital messaging devices. So we have a very simple one with uh, short pre-recorded messages, so we have more complex devices to present messages over an area. These can be controlled by contact closure, or they could be set up to play messages at a given time frame so that the application is on a time-based and a time-sensitive presentation. So these are some of the applications for the rail terminal. One of the challenges we have is working with the engineers and being able to help them appreciate the complexity of what's involved in presenting the voice messages. And many engineers are doing this. They have a lot of experience in presenting this material. And so we work closely with them on a regular basis. We also need to give attention to rail terminals, or air terminals rather. And many airports are being designed and built in Canada. For example, we have airports uh, anywhere from Bathurst, New Brunswick to uh, Trail, BC that are being renovated and looked at for, for projects to improve various functions in the airport. And there's 20 plus airports in the process of upgrading or expansion in Canada. Some of these are large metropolitan areas such as uh, Toronto Pearson Airport, but there's also local and regional airports that are being uh, improved and expanded, so there's opportunities in any given area to be able to address the needs of airport terminals. Well, what unique challenges are there with airport terminals? Well, areas in airport terminals are often very cavernous, large open areas, a lot of hard surfaces to bounce the sound around, a lot of challenges for speech intelligibility. And so systems have to be designed to precisely direct the sound where it needs to be. And so TOA and others have a line of line array speakers that ideally are suited for this application. Almost all areas could benefit from this type of application. Uh, if you notice here, we have our SR S4 speakers, and the unique design is that the tweeters are right in the center of the unit so that the sound lobes are equal on both sides. So you can precisely direct sound and have it uniform throughout the, throughout the given field. Now, how are these used? Well, they mount it on the wall usually, and if we look at the baggage area, the line array speakers are placed in columns. Could be a single unit for a smaller area, could be a double stacked unit for greater control of the sound and for covering a larger area. Many speakers are mounted on the columns, but uh, some unique designers have even put these inside the columns. Can't even tell there's a speaker there, but yet the sound continues to provide clear directivity and uh, is designed to present the spoken word in a way that's has a high degree of intelligibility. Now looking at transportation communication, the similar equipment can be used as in the rail application, but it can be deployed in different ways to accommodate the unique needs of airport terminals. For example, airports, they don't have outlying areas in the sense that we think of rail platforms, but yet they do have gates that are unique and different, and so direction has to be given. And the interesting thing about the TOA 9000 uh, system is that you can have isolated areas and you can page into areas and give specific direction in a given area 
unique to that area, such as at a gate. So it comes time to to board the plane, direction has to be given what row is board first, etc. And so that can be done in a Lokanda area. Whereas larger broadcasts, as uh, for example, everybody should keep control of their luggage at all times, etc., then that can be done over the wide area and be presented in a very concise and deliberate way. And so the 8000 system lends itself very well to this application so that sound can be given and people can have a high degree of understanding. Part of this may also be mass notification. And this can range for, from the spoken word to broadcast for emergency paging. It can be uh, one that uh, is wide area. And so TOA uses the N8000 IP based intercom as part of the system, but other parts of the TOA system, such as our VM3000 system, can be incorporated and interfaced with the N8000 IP based intercom to provide one way broadcast, can provide security access and control, can also provide pre recorded messages in the event of a situation. For example, it might be something that security is investigating. So a message goes out just to calm the public. There's a situation in such and such an area we're investigating. We'll keep you apprised of the situation. And so messages can be pre-recorded without emotion so that there's no panic, things are in control, and the N8000 IP-based intercom interface with our other equipment can do this quite effectively. One of the systems that we use is our SX2000 series of equipment, and it's configured to be versatile and highly effective in the PA application. It uh, matrixes the sound so that we have that capability. So a single system can have its components distributed in different areas. For example, maybe you get the master control in one building and you may have the processing for a zone or another building done separately so that the master control sends the signal, is processed and distributed to different zones particularly well suited for airports and railway situations where there needs to be some control and some voice announcements and especially in critical situations. It's a very cost effective solution for virtually any installation without long lead times or the ex expenses of custom systems. It also comes with a responder's microphone feature so that it's available for first responders or responders to be able to give direction and provide comfort and security for those who are affected in a response situation. The SX2000 series components enable the creation of an ideal system for all sorts of applications and requirements. And it's one of those uh, systems that TOA feels very confident in using because it uh, has high performance, installation versatility, operational reliability, scalability can be small to multi-building structures, user-friendly operation, uses CAT5 cabling for sending the signal around, can also use fiber optics, and has automatic mic functions so that this prevents inappropriate microphone use while uh, microphones may be inadvertently left on. Also on this uh, illustration we have our NX100. It's a packet audio distribution piece that can uh, transmit IP packets over a network. It can uh, use a router or intelligent switch and the interesting thing is the delay time in this is in milliseconds, tens of milliseconds. So it's a immediate response. It has high fidelity over wide frequency range. And you can also transmit to multiple points. So you can have multi-point transmission. Uh, the voice packet audio is uh, very clear with low loss and has built-in recovery feature to
to be able to make sure that the audio is always continuous. You can have uh, simultaneous multi-location broadcast. You can have two-way communication. And you can also send data streams by the RS-232 port so that you might want to uh, control things. You may want to send information. It has a simplified setup. And like all of the TOA IP network systems, it's license-free. So you don't have to purchase a license for it for so many locations, et cetera, and, and as you expand, buy more licenses. Uh, all of the TOA packet audio systems and IP systems are license-free. And incidentally, they all have a five-year warranty on those systems. Now, because airports are somewhat different than subway stations, airports usually are unique to an environment. Uh, for example, in Vancouver, you might see totem poles in the airport. You're not going to see that in Halifax Stanfield Airport. You'll not see that in the Toronto Pearson Airport. But they're usually different and designed to accommodate a certain theme and have different environments to present sound. And sometimes this presents a challenge if you're limited to one or two types of speakers. And so TOA has a wide variety of speakers designed to work in different ways, in different environments, but yet present the same clarity. They're designed really to work together in the system. And so we have uh, interior design speakers, we've got uh, variable dispersion speakers, ceiling speakers in various forms, box speakers, line array speakers, and some of these have particular characteristics. If you don't need to use a line array speaker, then, for example, the uh, HS system, which has a 40 by 90 degree dispersion, the speakers on the left might be ideal for controlling the sound in a given area. You might not need to use a line array speaker. Or maybe you need to present sound from a central point. Our F series box speakers are ideal for that application. Uh, full frequency, 70 volt, or they could be 8 ohm, depending on the application. So very versatile, as we see, more speakers. Uh, TOA probably has one of the largest lines of speakers that uh, are available in the industry, but we also focus on other things as well for mass notification. When everything goes south, maybe you have to grab a megaphone. We manufacture those as well. So it's good to have some of these on hand. One of the uh, new innovations that TOA has done is with our 8-inch ceiling speaker. It's a high-quality speaker designed for paging application, low cost, at, uh, able to operate on 25 and 70 volt systems. It fits the standard ceiling speaker template that's uh, standard in the industry. But it has some UL certification that's kind of unique in that it's designed to be highly sensitive and intelligible and really reliable. So you see the UL ratings there of 2572, ULC 541S, the UL 2043, and the UL 1480 standards. So this speaker meets all of those because it's designed for fire signaling, for mass notification, and it even can be uh, employed with a proper backhand in a plenum rated application. And so looking strictly at the mass notification systems, we see that we have integrated some of the systems together. We have the N8000 IP based system, uh, can use the SX2000, can use the VM3000, integrate them together to make one system so they all respond together, can interface this with existing equipment, can use opportunities to be able to present mass notification messages in a very concise and reliable way. Uh, Ultra-reliable is usually a term that we like to use to describe this system. It delivers outstanding audio quality that uh, maintains the perfect clarity and intelligibility, even when we're interfacing with 
other PA equipment for the delivery. And it requires a conventional communication system that we can accommodate to be able to present the sound. We can go out of the N8000 system into a regular amplifier and feed zones that way. We can also do it directly off of our wall stations. Again, want to emphasize the fact this is license free, uses very little bandwidth on a system, could be dedicated or could be on the wide area network and won't interfere with existing operations. Add to all of this, we can add our amplifiers and mixers. Uh, TOA is well known for the many amplifiers they have. Our 9000 series have been the workhorse in the industry for many years. Uh, has high performance, uh, anywhere from 30 watts right up to 120 watts. Uh, modular design, so it can be easily configured and, and custom configured according to the needs of the environment. Versatile enough to be used on 25 volt system, 70 volt system, or even 8 ohm. And it has mixers and mixer amplifiers that are UL and ULC rated, and these as well carry our five year warranty. On the bottom, we see our AV20D. That's a, a newer amplifier. It's uh, following a new standard in small amps for plenum applications. It's uh, ultra compact in size. It's uh, flexibly designed to have different inputs, low power consumption because it's a D-class amplifier, and it's ideal for meeting rooms, for digital signage and kiosks. So it meets both UL 2043 for plenum rating, and it also is an Energy Star 2 product. So this too is backed by our five-year warranty. We have other applications for amplifiers. If you look at the top right side, our DA series of multi-channel digital power amplifiers. This is ideal for multi-zone distribution and we can stack these up five deep without having space between them so that we can cover multiple zones. So five deep at four channels per amp, 20 zones in one rack you could cover. These are D-class technology and they're 85% efficient in their use of energy. So this is, uh, means it uses about one third less power than a conventional analog amplifier. They're available in high or low impedance, four channels. They're available at 250 watts or 500 watts per channel. And they're competitively priced and available in Canada and again backed by our five year limited warranty. So as well as the speakers, we have amplifiers that go along with that. Voice evacuation and mass notification, we we touch on this a number of times, and what I want to emphasize is that these type of systems have dedicated microphone systems that can page into different areas. And this is important because when things go wrong, you want to be able to address the situation head on. And so our VM 3000 system, we see microphones there, responders mic, that maybe the first responder coming need to address the situation. Maybe someone sitting at a, a reception or a security desk needs to page into different areas. This can be done. Different messages can be triggered from either of these locations so that people are aware of what the situation is. And so TOA interfaces this with the rest of our equipment, particularly PC580RU ceiling speakers and use this for emergency paging and mass notification. Now this is not something new to TOA. TOA is the pioneer and leader in mass notification because TOA comes from an area where they're prone to a lot of environmental changes such as earthquakes, volcanic action, typhoons, hurricanes, tsunamis, just to mention a few. Over the years, TOA has pioneered many different products to be able to meet these challenges because it's important to get the spoken word out to people to give clear direction when all else fails. If you look at the center of the picture, those two big horns, that was a project that TOA carried out 
to see how far they could send clear, audible sound. And these two horns were able to present the sound nine miles across the channel. But we've developed other products since as well. For example, our long distance horn array system, and this is a, a new product, is designed for a unique situation where you need to present sound over long distance. And if you notice the design, it's a modified folded horn design so that the sound comes out of the driver and travels the course so it comes out of the front of the horn in a uniform manner. If you notice at the top of the picture on the right, the nesting points so that one unit can nest on top of the other to form uh, a stack such as in the bottom left-hand side. So you can, prevent, you can present or build a system similar to a line array and has some of the characteristics of the line array effect in a horn array. And so this is uh, an application that we could think of for large parking lots, harbor areas, tarmac areas and airports, open fields, and many other applications where you need to get sound to an area without having to put the speaker in that area. And so this uh, illustration shows the application that has been used and the ruggedness of the situation so that it's able to withstand the weather and be able to do the job that it's designed to do. TOA also presents a number of different microphones other than those related to the mass notification system. And this is the partial list of the TOA microphone products. They're designed to work with the TOA equipment as well as uh, work with other equipment as well. And so we have a PM660 desktop microphone, pretty well standard in the industry. It's uh, usually the go-to product for schools, for general paging. We have our handheld and podium mics, and we have a line of gooseneck microphones as well as boundary mics and other types of mics that are applicable in the industry. So what's your advantage in purchasing TOA products? Well, we're a world leader in commercial and professional audio products. Products are available in over 100 countries worldwide. We are confident in the product to the extent that we provide a five-year warranty. So that tells you that we have that backing. We have one of the best mean times before a failure in the industry. Very durable product. We have stock in central Canada and we have a broad range of products able to meet any given application and any design needs that you may have. Well, that just tells us about the products. Why are we better? Well, TOA manufactures our audio products in our own factories. We do not have other people OEM the products for us. We do not buy the products from the lowest bidder. And so we're able to keep control of our designs and our technology which is developed by TOA engineers and designed by TOA sound engineers. TOA products have the best mean time before failure, as I mentioned before. And that means that many of her products are in the field for now 15, 20, 25 years. They just keep working day after day after day, running 24-7. Add to that the local support that we bring. We have a technical department for help and design and modeling of audio systems. So if you look at the illustration on the bottom, we can uh, provide ease diagrams and uh, can provide support on how our products will work. We can do this before the application of the, of the design. We can assist in the design as well as we can provide support after sale for in configuring the product. Again, your TOA advantage. Canadian Technical Support Design Team. There for your benefit. We provide that technical support design team free of charge. We provide design consultation. We have a Canadian stocking warehouse for products and services and service parts. Five-year warranty on most products, as we mentioned. And we have extensive field representation nationally. We have regional sales managers who will call on dealers. We visit end users. We go with dealers to, to visit end users. We also visit architects 
engineers, consultants, able to provide some support in the selection of audio products to fit an environment. We provide monthly web-based training. We provide webinars, but we'll also do one-on-one -on -one custom web-based training for your personnel. So we have customized dealer sales and technical training. Just request that from 